Talismans are expensive. So expensive that I had to spend three bill on them. And why is everything exploding? I have no idea. But what I do know is that talismans are not cheap. Hey, nice purse you got there. Thanks. I worked pretty hard for it. Yeah, it's mine now. Why? Pandora's box, 800 mil. Hegemony artifact, 600 mil. T7 master skull, 600 mil. Infernal Gucci core, 1.2 billion coins. And did I mention inflation? Yeah, the economy is going down in flames. But that's fine. It is time to spend my hard-earned cash on something stupid. It is time to buy some talismans. And I got a bit of money for it. 3 billion coins to be exact. And yeah, it's it's all going into talismans. All of it. Every last penny. And now you might be asking yourself, Enther, why are you spending money on talismans? You already spent around 4 billion coins on talismans. Why do you need more talismans? Well, the answer to that is, well, because why not? Do I already have 1,106 magical power? Uh, yeah, but who doesn't love more magical power? Do I already have pretty much every single talisman in the game maxed out? Yeah, but who doesn't love more talismans? Talismans are amazing. Let's go buy some. Okay, but first of all, I only have one more slot for talismans in my bag. Uh, so we're just gonna head over to Jacobus and we're gonna buy a couple of these. Wow, 12 million coins for two slots. I, I think we'll just spend 36 mil on that. Get us a couple more slots. That should be good. And now if we visit all pages of the bag, we can see that the cheapest one for us to buy will actually be the Dante talisman. How do I not already have that? That is insanely inexpensive. Yeah, no, 13.5 million coins. Just get in my inventory. And apparently we need a burning Kudra core. How much would a fiery Kudra core be? So it would be 380 mil for a fiery Kudra core. How much is it to craft? I mean, it's only three burning, so... Well, let me do some math. So 83 times 4 would be 332. Oh, so it's about 50 mil cheaper to craft it. Interesting. Well, I think we'll just do that. Burning Kudra core, buy this one, uh, buy this one, a third one, and a fourth one. Now, if I just check these all into the crafting menu, we should get a fiery Kudra core. Not that crafting menu. This crafting menu. Yeah, there we go. Fiery Kudra core. And you gain a 2% chance for attributes to spawn one level higher. That's actually not bad. That is a that is a decent talisman right there. And then we need the burst stopper talisman, but because I'm spending a ton of money, I think we're gonna go ahead and get the burst stopper artifact. And it appears there are none on the AH. Well, I did just hit Blaze 6, so hopefully I can craft one. Actually, this might be Soulbound. Okay, this one requires Blaze Slayer 7. This one requires Blaze Slayer 3. And a lot of Molten Powder. Okay, yeah, no, we'll just we'll just craft the Talisman. I can't craft the Artifact yet, but I'll craft it when we get there. So we are going to need two stacks of Molten Powder, as well as six Refined Titanium, not too bad, and four Whipped Magma Cream. And with all that, we get the Burst Stopper Talisman. If an incoming hit would deal at least 50% of your HP, multiply its damage by 0.95. Really good talisman. You know, who knew that some of the most expensive talismans in the game would be good. But before we continue buying talismans, I'm trying to hit 30k by the end of the year, and I'm coming up on 16,000 subscribers, a bit over halfway there. So if we can manage to hit 16k in the next 48 hours, and a thousand likes on this video, I'll be giving away 100 million coins. Uh, 50 mil here in the comments section, and 50 mil in Discord. So yeah, make sure to comment your IG and join my Discord. It's fun. Anyway, back to wasting money. And what is next? Master Skull Tier 6. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I currently have a Master Skull Tier 5, and I've been uh, um, well, let's say clowned on a little bit for only having that, so let's go ahead and get this to a T6. So, one, a two, and a three. And now if I make sure to put the Master Skull Tier 5 that's recommed in the left up-hand corner right there, yep, it'll come out as recommed. Amazing. And we need to go ahead and put an enrichment on it. Magic find, and another enriched talisman. Then we needed the bingo ring. Ooh. Is this one really worth it, though? How expensive is it? 240 mil. Yeah, I... Mmm. It's the cheapest for me, but it's 240 mil for... I mean, it's a green talisman. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy that. And then we have the Ender Relic. I could rebuy that. That's kind of expensive. It's a good talisman to have. Or I could get a Hegemony artifact. Ho ho ho. Worship's regalia. Or both. So this would be 810 mil, which is, I mean, this is one of the best talismans in the game. A Shin's Regalia, I kind of need to get one of those, 600 mil. And an Ender Relic is 358 mil. How about we just buy all three? So Ender Relic, lowest bin one that's recommed with enrichments, 363 mil. I get in my inventory. And then Shin's Regalia, we're going to buy the lowest bin recommed because it's two mil cheaper than actually slapping a recom on it myself. Amazing. Down to 1.4 bill now. And a Hegemony Artifact, 
810 mil. A little bit expensive, but I've been wanting this talisman for so long. It's such a good talisman. Also, you don't really want to know the amount of times that I accidentally pronounce this hegemony. Hegemony. It is really hard to pronounce this. I had to re-record that clip like four times. Now the real question is, can I actually afford anything else? I'm not sure if I can. How much is a Pandora's box? Nope, can't afford it. Although there is this Blaze Talisman right here, which... Oh, okay, so it's Co-op Soulbound. Interesting. But we're not looking to do anything like that at the moment. We're looking to spend stupid amounts of money. I wonder. Could I get a Master Skull Tier 7? So 167 times 3 would be 501 mil. I can buy a Master Skull Tier 7. Yeah, no, we're just gonna do it. Alright, so buy one, and two, and a third. Uh, now we craft them, and it looks so good, but my purse is just... Yeah, no, there it is. My purse is entirely gone. I have I started with 3 bill. I have 86 mil left. This is this is a problem. I need to run Kudra. But hey, on the upside, I didn't pull a me from a couple weeks ago, and I still have my 1 bill bank. I'm not throwing this time. Well, now I just need to buy 3 recoms for all of these. 1, 2, and 3. And I am below a 50 mil purse. This is not okay. Uh, but might as well just recom, recom, and recom. And do any of these need to be enriched? Okay, the regalia and the fiery Kudra core. Those both need it. So buy two magic fine enrichments and an enrichment swapper. So we put this on the Kudra core, this on the regalia. Then we chuck all these in my accessory bag. I may not have enough room. This is not good. Oh, okay, never mind. I do have enough room. We are good. And then we pop on magic fine enrichments. And let's just go see my magical power. 1,237. I went up an entire 120 magical power from 3 billion coins. That was incredibly worth it. Anyway, I still have some more talismans to get. There are a bunch of like random little quest line related talismans that I have not not gotten yet. So yeah, we're gonna be getting those. Including the Kudra follower relic, which may take me a bit, but it's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna go run Kudra, because I'm gonna need a little bit of money before that. While I was in the process of grinding for money, I decided it was time to get another talisman. It was one I'd been wanting for a while, and I had no idea why I genuinely didn't have it. So it was time to head over to the garden, and I'll just let the clip speak for itself. Okay, next talisman time. And we're gonna be getting the talisman from, well, the garden. This little thing called Jake's Plushie, which you need to have an NPC visit you a couple times, and you can go get it. I am Garden 13 and still don't have it. I have spent several hundred hours in the garden and I don't have it, so we're gonna go get it. So yeah, an NPC by the name of Beth has to visit you three times, and then she'll give you some coordinates that you have to go to. She's visited me like 20 times and I still haven't done this quest line. Uh, but yeah, no, now I need to go figure out where those coordinates are. In this video, I will show you how to get the new Jake's plushie talisman. Alright, I got the coordinates. Now I just need to go to the mushroom desert. Alright, we're here. Now I just need to make a sky tills waypoint. Alright, 175, 44, negative 470. Save that, and all right, it's down there. Uh, the one question I have is, uh, how exactly do I get down there? Is this behind this waterfall? It, it would appear no. So I discovered Jake's secret lab tonight. All right, I think I know where it is. Most certainly did not take me, like, two tutorials to figure it out, but yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, no, here we go. Found it. Okay, so if I dig this block right here, and we are in the secret lab. You found the secret lab. Report this to Beth the next time you see her on your garden. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. We got animal abuse, animal abuse, animal abuse. All right, I'm pretty sure Peta would like to know Jake's location. Uh, but yeah, now I just need to go farm and hope Beth visits me. Well, we grab out the old nether wart hoe, and, well, I'll be over here for the next several hours if anybody needs me. Guys, finally. <laughs> it's been about two hours, but Beth finally visited me. Okay, so if I understand correctly, I think we just have to talk to her, and then we go back to that area. I found what? A secret lab hidden inside the cave? We need to check this out together. I'll meet you there. Okay, yeah, and now we just go back over there. Alright, if we come back over here again, and dig this block. Uh, yeah, here's Beth. This is so strange. I can't believe this has been down here for all this time. You're speechless. Yeah, I think... I, I don't know. From what I understand, there's a bunch of dialogue. I, I think we'll just skip it. Ah, and there we go. Okay. So the dialogue, uh, I mean, it's still going, but yeah, no, he just gave me Jake's plushie. Gives me plus two health and increases the number of pelts obtained when hunting animals by plus one. Kind of nice. Hi, Jake. Oh, and a new achievement. But there we go. New talisman. And now we need to go recom it. Oh, wow. They went down by another million coins. That is kind of nice to see. But if we just come over here, and talisman recommed. Very nice. Next up on the agenda, I believe is actually gonna be getting the Ring of Love maxed out, which means I'm gonna have to attend a dark auction. I need a flower minion. Okay, so DA is starting pretty soon, and well, really quickly, I'm gonna nick since I don't need people outbidding me. Because, you know, uh, clout kind of goes hard. We're gonna go random skin and reuse the Just Lemon because, yeah, funny nickname. And now we just go sit over at the dark auction. This is a weird looking skin. Alright, well, it looks like the dark auction is about to start. 
flower, and I honestly don't know how much flower minions actually go for. I think around 40 mil if I remember correctly, but I, I don't know. Alright, 10 seconds. Alright, I'm signed up for the auction. Let's see how this goes. I will be honest, this is the first dark auction I've actually ever been to, which I find very funny. Also, while I'm down here, I might as well talk to all these guys, since I think one of them is a garden NPC, but yeah, yeah, here we go. Funny thing, it doesn't look like we actually have any super rich players in here. Although I'm not really here for profit, I just kind of want flower minions. Ooh, here we go. Okay, here's what I want. Flower minion. Okay, I'm willing to bid up to like 50 mil on this. All right, yeah, they're already bidding it up. All right, let's see how high this will go. All right, we're up to 30 mil now. I mean, I'm, I'm getting this flower minion. I don't care what it takes. I require this flower minion. I'm not waiting another hour. I already missed a DA. All right, will I get it for 38? All right, it looks like I'm getting it for 38 mil. All right, there we go. Item has been acquired. Honestly, I might level this up for Skyblock XP before I give this to Romero. Let me see how much that would cost. Yeah, so it turns out it won't cost a lot. I think I'm gonna get this to T11 really quickly. Oh, there we go, level 262. So it turns out it might actually cost a lot. Uh, it's at tier 9 right now. Let me let me see here. So 512 would be 30 mil. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at T9. I can get another one up to T12 later. Uh, but now we continue the Romero quest. I'm gonna unnick. Okay, so now I just need to remember where Romero is. I think he's somewhere down here. Uh, yeah, here we go. So now if we just give him this flower minion, we get a flower maelstrom. Warp to the park, and we can give this back. Now we are going to have to ignore the fact that I have about 2,000 hours on this profile and haven't completed the Romero quest. Uh, but here we go. And there we go. Your exquisite ring of love was upgraded to an invaluable ring of love. Ah, so now I need to wear something nice. Uh, well, it turns out I believe I actually have something nice in my museum. Yep, there we go. Cheap tuxedo. Uh, amazingly nice. And here we go. Now we have a very official yellow rock of love. All right, then we need to give this to Juliet. And that is the completed quest. And there we go. Another mythic talisman. Let me take you back in time to around about a week and a half ago, to the inspiration for actually this entire video. I wanted to get the Kudra Follower Relic, so I started mining Netherrack, a lot of Netherrack. I needed 1 million Netherrack collection in order to get the Kudra Follower Relic, or at least get a step of getting it. And I decided, you know what, Kudra Follower Relic video boring, spending 3 villain talismans, fun. But yeah, I'll just let the pain and suffering commence. Finally, uh, the grind is over. One million netherrack collection. I can get rid of this setup now. It's finally done. Uh, now this grind actually took me about 12-ish hours instead of the normal five hours. So I did a little oopsie poopsie, and I had smelting touch on my gemstone gauntlet. So 700,000 of my netherrack collection came from, well, literally just the compact tin on this gauntlet. Yeah, I know. I'm smart. Okay, so I need to go get the uh, Kutra follower boots, and uh, I don't have much time. I need to go speak to the Kutra lore master. I need to go find where this guy is. Okay, so I found, I found the location. I just need to paste all this in. Okay, and that waypoint right there should be the Kutra lore master. Uh, now I just need to figure out how do I get in. <laughs> uh, here we go. So I believe I need to type to him, the bridge is collapsing, get to the center. So if I type out, the bridge is collapsing, I'm gonna get to the center. And I just hit this in chat, and, uh, maybe it needs to be in all caps. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, I typed it in all caps, and, uh, yeah, no, now here it is. At least I think this is it. Well, I have the Netherrack and Magma Cream collection, so I'm just gonna go see if I can do this. I'm hoping I did this correctly, because if I didn't, then I have to wait another week, and I might have to delay this video. Context for anybody a little bit confused, because apparently I didn't explain anything. The way to get the Kudra Follower boots is, well, you go talk to the Kudra Lore Master, and you type the bridges collapse and get to the center. You've already seen that. I don't need to explain it. And then you head over to the Deep Caverns, and to the left of the Deep Caverns is actually the Old Nether Island. And on the Old Nether Island, there will be an NPC that spawns there at 4 p.m. EST, I think. I don't know. I had to translate it from a different time zone. And if you talk to that NPC while having 1 million Netherrack and 1 million Magma Cream collection, you get the Kudra Follower Boots. Hopefully that alleviates any confusion. But if we are over in the Deep Caverns, I should be able to teleport to the Old Nether. Yep, there we go. And if I can stop lagging, if I go over to this building right here, yes, here we go. Okay, here's the Kutra Lore Master. Uh huh. Then we're also going to need 1024 Enchanted Netherrack. Buy that. And then we also need the same amount, but in Magma Cream. So we're going to have to put some items away. And there we go, 1024 Enchanted Magma Cream. Boys! <laughs> There we go. We got the we got the Kudra follower boots with an absolutely awful addition. 
1813. But hey, I did the time locked part of the quest. I did the hardest part first. An entire week of mining netherrack and having down magma cream minions. Boys, we got it. It is time to go for the Kudra follower artifact. I've already got the boots, but now we need to get the rest of it. So I've got a little guide pulled up and we're just going to be following it, starting with the Kudra artifact. I think that'll be the easiest. So going to the official Hunter's Discord server and we scroll up a little bit and solve things, we need to get the Kudra relic, which this is a little guide to do it. So we're going to need to go to these coordinates and click a bookshelf shelf with 4,000 plus intelligence. Not too hard. All right, there's the waypoint. Now we just TP over there, and it should just be in this building in the cathedral, and a scheduled reboot. All right, let's try this again. And I think it should be over here, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure which one it is, or if I'm supposed to be left or right clicking. I'm just gonna go around and click all the bookshelves. Oh, wait, never mind. I think it's right here. You use your mana to pull a book out. Most of it is unreadable, but you do notice a 2 and a 22. All right, cool. Okay, so that's the first part of it done. Uh, now we need to find a cataclysmic lobby and go click on some more blocks. So someone actually just found a cataclysmic lobby for me, and I'm gonna give them 20 mil in a second, but if we need, we need to go over here, I think, and then and we need a drill. Also, ignore the setup. I've been flag blast fishing. So, drill. Just search for that. Lowest bin. Sure, this one for five mil. And let's see here. And now it should be a block over here that we just need to right click with a drill. And yet, yeah, there we go. Kudra relic. I did it. Let's go. Okay. Not gonna lie. This kind of stressed me out because I have no idea how long cataclysmic lobbies last. But there we go. Kudra relic. And there we go. Thank you for getting me the lobby, Mr. Ozzy Sword. I very much so appreciate it. Now I must go back to flag blast fishing. On the topic of flag blast fishing, uh, let's go over what it is and how to do it. Flag Flag Blast fishing is needed for the helmet. The Flag Blast is a very, very rare squid sea creature that you fish up in this pool over here. It has a 1 in 1,000 chance of spawning, but that can be decreased to 1 in 500 with a squid hat. Once you get it, you need to bring it over to this guy right behind me and give him around about 13 million coins. There's a formula for it. But I will honestly say, this took me so long that I may have gone insane a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. I, I just got a flag blast. Dude, I was in the middle of sneezing. Uh, uh, what, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, so I think I hook it. Um, no, okay, let's just punch it. Okay, I did actually just, uh, hit it with the potion effects. Uh, God, it spawned in while I was in the middle of sneezing. Okay, what, what, what do I do? <laughs> what, what do I do? Do I need a lead? Do I need a, I think I need a lead. I, I need a lead. How do I craft a lead? Lead is, no, not, not that kind. Uh, regular lead. Okay, well, I mean, that should last for eight minutes. It doesn't look like it's bugging out. It should be fine. Okay, so I think I need a slime ball and string. Slime ball, I want of these, and then I need string, I think. And then I think I can craft a lead, maybe, possibly. Yes, there we go. Okay, two leads. So then if I grab this, yes, here we go. Okay, and now I should just be able to bring it over here. Okay, the flag glass is over here. Okay, now I go into Discord. So we go to the official Hunter's Discord. Now we do bot commands slash hunt helmet and dthr so it's one three three seven one nine seven six i'm going to copy that and then i am going to message that number to myself now if we go into the kudra believer and i completely forgot the number i'll just pull up discord on the side it's fine all right so it's one three three seven one nine seven six so 13 million uh, yep yep there we go okay so now we click done we donate that wow you truly are a believer. Kudra will bless me. Yes, thank you. Adventurer. It seems like Kudra has shown favor upon me. Yes. Yes, here we go. Kudra follower helmet. Uh, what edition did we get? 2000. Oh, boy. Uh, well, that'll go in the chest. I still can't believe I got a flag blast quite literally while I was sneezing. I was literally just mid-sneeze trying to, you know, go onto Discord to check something. And then I look back over at my main monitor and there's just, it's just a flag blast. And the flag blast was just right there. And the flag blast is gone. I was going to try to get herring the fish, uh, but I tabbed out and now it's gone. But uh, that's fine. We don't need herring the fish anymore. Anyway, it's just kind of a funny. Uh, but cool, that's about half of the quest done. And I think that's most of the hard stuff out of the way, too. I don't know why I did the hard stuff first. Uh, well, now that I've got half the setup, I think we should go for the chest plate next. So this one's pretty easy. I just need to put together a party. Uh, well, actually, even before that, there's one I can get even more easily. Yeah, so that uh, that Kudra relic I got earlier, I can actually just exchange that for the pants. So yeah, now I need to find the Kudra archaeologist. 
Uh, let me see here. So if I go to Kudra Leggings in the wiki, I should be able to find the Kudra Archaeologist somewhere in here. Kudra Archaeologist. Oh, oh, it's this guy. Yeah, I know this guy. I think he's back over here somewhere. Not that guy. I know he's somewhere on the edge of the map. Somewhere. You know what? I'm just gonna go grab cords from the wiki. Okay, yeah, it turns out he's all the way over here. Um, And I was on the complete wrong side of the map. Yeah, hi, Kudra Archaeologist. Yeah, I just want to take my Kudra Relic real fast. Is that the Kudra Relic? Where did I find it? Whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah, and like... Leggings. Yay. Oh, hey, I get to keep the Kutra Relic. Nice. Cool. Now we're uh, three-fourths of the way there. Okay, now back to explaining how to do the whole chest plate thing. It's very oddly specific. Basically, you need to have two people uh, wearing full Ember armor with uh, Kudra pets equipped standing in the Dragon Tails Town Square and people with the exact same setup sitting in the Scarleton Plaza. Uh, faction doesn't matter at all. You just need four people in total, two here, two over there, and then the person actually going for the chest plate is going to come all the way over here, all the way up here, and yeah, yeah, here we go, this NPC, Arch. And basically, when they're standing in their respective places, Arch will give you the chest plate. Uh, so yeah, now I need to go get a party. Okay, so it took like an hour, but I, I got a party. I don't know why this took so long, but I mean, I have a party now. We're about to get it. I just need to set everybody up. Also, apparently you need six people. You need to have two people standing up here instead of just one. Okay, I think everybody should be ready. So as long as I click on Arch, I think we should be able to get it. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah. Okay, it worked. Yeah, there we go. And now we have the Kudra follower chest plate. Okay, now we just cycle through everybody else. Anyways, while everybody else is getting it, I might as well equip this uh, very nice looking armor set. And yeah, there, there we go. It's just a full Kudra follower set. And very nice. I just realized that, um, well, as I'm putting my Ember armor back, uh, these Ember boots actually have a very funny reforge. <laughs> uh, that reforge is not obtainable anymore. <laughs> that is very odd. I just bought these off the AH for Kudra too. That, that's very funny. It just has an unobtainable reforge just casually. Well, now that that party's over and done with, we can look at all the, uh, very, very sexy additions that the, that the Kudra armor has. Uh, look at that, we got 2,271, 3,924, 4,181, 1,813. This is a problem. I was really late to this whole thing. Uh, but that aside, it's time to actually get the talisman now. So to obtain the Kudra follower artifact, I need to get 100 million coins, 1,024 enchanted red sand, 1,024 enchanted mycelium, and 64 Kudra teeth, all of which I have. All that I'm missing is a cataclysmic lobby. Uh, yeah, I need another one. Uh, so I guess I'll just search for one in the time being, or pay somebody to search for me. I'm not sure which. All right, someone actually just found a cataclysmic lobby, and we got a ping about it in the official Hunter's Discord, and uh, yeah, I'm about to get warped into there, and I think we will finally be uh, getting the talisman. Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, so we're in the cataclysmic lobby. You can see it right there. Now, if I TP all the way over here, and, uh, well, the uh, lobby is dying a mild amount, but as we come over here, if we come over to this spot over here, I think. Emphasis on the I think. Oh, wait, never mind. It's over here. It's over here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So now we need to be wearing the full Kudra follower set. And if we click on this guy, you seem like somebody of similar interests. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So 98 million coins, and I need 1,024 enchanted red sand, 1,024 enchanted mycelium. These servers too like to use the bazaar. Okay, that's... Uh, that's fine. I guess while we're waiting on the server to unlag, we will grab the Kudra teeth. Got them right here. Stack of Kudra teeth. And I'm just gonna keep trying to open the bazaar. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got into the bazaar. So now we go into here. We buy 1,024 enchanted red sand. And I'm gonna need to clear out some of my inventory. All right, we just chuck everything into the chest over here. All right, here we go. Mycelium. Now we need 1,024 of this. 11 mil. There we go. Now if we go over here, click on him again, should open up the shop. And and there we go. We can now get the Kutra Follower Artifact. Would you look at that? Uh, one of the final talismans that I need. And then I finally have it. I wonder, does it open the shop again? Yeah, no, you can just, you can just buy it again. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, no, we have this now. Man, I, I've waited like a solid two days to get this thing. And I finally have it. And somebody is staring at me. Uh, so, funny story. We're not actually done with the whole hunt. Now we need to upgrade it to the Relic. Starting with the exquisite Kudra Teeth plaque. Info. One of six stages for the Kudra Teeth plaque. Steps. Acquire a full suit of Kudra follower armor. Get a golden ball from Jake. Talk to Draku while wearing the armor and holding the golden ball, then accept the trade. And then it keeps on going down and down, random other stuff, until eventually you get the Kudra Teeth plaque. So this upgrades the Kudra follower artifact and makes it possible to drop the Kudra mandible from T5 Kudra. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be 
going through this. I'm gonna check a couple of the steps, but I think it's finally time we finish up this hunt. So for this quest, step one, uh, wear the Kuja armor. Step two, buy a golden ball for 1.2 million coins. And while holding the golden ball, talk to Draku. Ah, you can see it clearer in my hand. You definitely recognize this item. Do you mind if I give it to you so you can expect it? Yeah, sure. All right, take the golden ball, and there we go. Exquisite Kudra teeth black. This item may seem uninteresting, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, this is gonna be very, very nice. And next, we're back over to the Kudra archaeologist. All we want to do is just swap to a set of Aurora, and this should be enough intelligence. We need a uh, 4,500 plus. I'm gonna break it down for me, and there we go. Unpleasant Kudra teeth black. It smells, and it's sort of sticky. You're getting somewhere, but right now, this is just gross. It seems about right. Uh, this next step, I'm actually kind of soft locked from doing. Hold the Kudra teeth black in your hand, and interact with Arch with a level 100 Kudra pet equipped. Uh, my Kudra is only level 95, actually, so yeah, I guess it's just back to grinding. I'll, I'll be doing flares for a while. Uh, but while we're downtiming from the hunt for flares, might as well go ahead and talk to Jacobus here, uh, spend another 12 mil on accessory bag upgrades, and then actually uh, chuck the Kudra follower artifact in there, so that we can get a little extra magical power from it. And we're now at 1,263. Very, very nice. So I finally got my Kudra to level 100. Uh, it, it looks so nice and very beautiful, and I don't know why I have a skin on it. But it's level 100 now. May have taken me like 10 hours, and it may or may not be 2 a.m. while I'm recording this. But we have it now. Uh, time to finish the hunt. Just had to grab my Kudra follower artifact back out, as well as this little thing right here. Make sure the level 100 Kudra is equipped. Go up here, all the way up, and to this little arch guy right here. And there we go. It's rare now, and it looks even more disgusting. I can't believe I spent like 10 hours leveling a pet just for that. Uh, but it, it's fine. Anyway, next one. Over at the Kudra Believer. I just need to hold this right here, talk to the Kudra Believer, and then if we just enter the word decay right here, and yeah, it should break it down for me. And there we go. It's now uncommon. And it is repulsive. A disgusting bacteria. It isn't quite gross enough to melt the hardest of teeth. Still pretty gross, though. So for the final step of the hunt, if we just type slash warp Kudra and come over here, if we talk to this guy and we go click on Infernal Tier, uh, that's not right. So there's supposed to be a little poison potion underneath this. Maybe I need to rearrange my inventory a little bit or go back onto this. I'm not sure. All right, turns out I am just incredibly stupid. Yeah, no, I, I missed a step. I, I forgot the common rarity. Yeah, so for this, we need to go talk to the Kudra lore master. Then if we just say, what just happened? Is this Kudra's real lair? To the Kudra lore master right here. Just click enter. Okay, yeah, there we go. And decaying Kudra teeth black. Now we can go to the last step. I'm definitely not as sleep deprived at all. Okay, so if we go click on this man's, and there we go. Poison Kudra's teeth. Use your special decaying Kudra teeth black to poison Kudra's teeth and allow you to get something new. Essentially, this is the last last step of the quest, and we'll unlock the Kudra's Mandible, as well as upgrade this right here. So, yeah, we just click it, and there we go. That is an entire year of hunting done that I did in a matter of, like, two days. This feels incredibly wrong, but there we go. The Kudra Follower Relic reduces damage taken from Kudra Followers by 65%. Insanely useful for T5 Kudra. And then we also have this thing, which is probably just gonna rot in this chest right here. Yeah, good enough. And back out of the hunt. Uh, we need a Recombobulator. I mean, we just can't have a non recom accessory that is disgusting. And buy one of these for 12 million coins. Head over to the Reforge Anvil, and there we go. Another mythic talisman. And also, we need to enrich it, but I'm kind of a little bit too broke bits-wise, so we're just gonna have to buy one off the age. I do not want to talk about how many times I just misspelled Magic Find. Uh, they appear to all be about 6 mil, so yeah, we're just gonna do the Magic Find one. Which I think this one might actually be the cheapest for whatever reason, but I I'll take it. And magic find. Pop this in the accessory bag, do a little bit of organization, and well, am I missing anything now? Wait, I'm missing the blaze talisman? Um, okay. That's that's insanely cheap. What? I, I, I think I have all the materials just in my sacks. Why do I not have this? I'm not sure if I wanted mutated or millennia, but I've got both. Yeah, and there, there we go, blaze talisman. And I, I mean, I, I guess another recom. How did I not have this? This is one of like, the easiest talismans in the game to get. Okay, I guess just doing a quick Thank you. 
double check uh, through all of this. Wait, wait, I'm missing a recom? There, there are a lot of random stuff that I'm missing. Hold on, give me a second. Okay, so apparently I can recom the crap out of celebration. I didn't think that gave extra magical power, but uh, okay, uh, another recon, here we go. And bam, very special accessory now. Or well, a hatch accessory. After spending billions of coins in nearly 60 hours making this video, the final count on magical power is 1,287. Yeah, I, I all that for about 150 magical power. If this is the end game of Skyclock, I want nothing to do with it. This isn't even the end game. Why am I here? But on a more serious note, I spent an insane amount of time making this video, and I would greatly appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and possibly checked out some more of my content. Anyway, I'm gonna go cry in a corner now.